Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here's another deck profile for you guys today. This time it's on Dinosaurs, a deck I haven't visited in a while. Uh, so as you can clearly see, I'm running Scrap Wyvern. So yeah, I am running the Scrap Engine now that it's actually more accessible this time around. I mean, in general, the, the engine was sort of already accessible. The only card that was like super expensive was was uh, Scrap Chimera. So yeah, I'm just glad it finally got a reprint, but we'll get on to that later on. But anyway, fair to show you guys what I got this time around. This is a strictly going second deck. However, I do have options of going first two on the side deck. So, but again, overall, this is mainly a going second deck because it's just really good at clearing boards, especially with cards like Tyranno, still one of the best boss monsters ever. So, yeah. Oh, and if you notice, uh, my voice is a little weak right now simply because uh, I have a, a minor cold right now. So, but no worries. It's not COVID. I'm perfectly fine. I should be fully recovered in a couple more days. So, anyway. Let's go and get to it. <clears throat> All right, so starting off with the main deck, playing three copies of Oviraptor, one of your main searchers, also Foolish Burial, and also has an effect where you can pop a dinosaur monster to special summon back one from your graveyard. And keep in mind, you can also pop a dinosaur monster on your opponent's side of the field too. So yeah, Oviraptor is pretty nuts. Uh, one copy of Miscellaneous Horse, since, since unfortunately he's limited again, but the deck is still very much playable. Bear this in mind, because he's searchable. And plus, you as long as you... Uh, can OTK your opponent uh, with the right combos, you should be doing just fine with one miss anyway. So it's not the end of the world. Next, two copies of Animador and Archosaur. This gives you access to your pill by popping a dinosaur from your hand or field. So you mostly just use this to pop uh, one of the babies and then, yeah, you just go, this, this is where the deck really gets explosive from there. And it's also a level one monster, so definitely uh, pretty relevant. But anyway, moving on. Speaking of which, two copies of Baby Sarasaurus. I was thinking about running this at three, but I'm still debating whether I should. So far, team two seems to work just fine. And plus, I'm still running one copy of Petit Pteranodon. So yeah, it, it, I think this works just fine. Uh, next, for my one ofs, one Pankratops, since you know it's a free um, special summon as long as you have as long as you have, your opponent controls more monsters than you do. One Giant Rex. And of course, uh, two of the big boy, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. I'm not running Dogran simply because. Uh, Right now, since uh, one of the best decks right now is uh, Lyraless Tri Brigade, I kind of want to like, well, first I want to see what I'm up against first so I can plan ahead later on. But overall, like, um, as long as I can uh, out their board, I should be fine. But overall, yeah, um, the only thing you really have to worry about is just the uh, Barrier Statue. But again, if you have the right cards in hand, you should be able to, you know, uh, pu push through. So I, I wouldn't really panic. Uh, moving on to the Scrap Engine, two copies of Scrap Raptor. And of course, uh, oh, for those who don't know what this actually does, uh, you can target one monster you control, destroy it. Also, during your main phase, your main phase this turn, you can normal summon one additional monster as long as it's a scrap monster. And if this card is destroyed by a card effect or by us by the by an effect of a scrap card, and sent to the graveyard, you can either add one scrap factory or one non-tuner scrap monster. And since this monster is a tuner monster, uh, your main targets for well to search off really are going to be. Uh, well, your main target really is just going to be Scrap Chimera. Um, when this card is normal summoned, you can target one Scrap Tuner in your graveyard, special summon that target. So, and of course, just to round up our Scrap Engine, I am running one copy of Scrap Golem. It's not really needed, honestly. As long as you have the two Raptors and the one Chimera, it's fine. I'm just running Golem as just like, just to push for more plays, basically. And that's really all there is to it. But this card also has a pretty neat effect, is that once per turn, you can target one level four or lower Scrap Monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target to either side of the field. So either player side of the field, I mean. So yeah, just a good way just to bring back your Scrap Raptor. Because again, being the tuner monster is actually pretty relevant for what we're going to get into later on. But yeah, that's pretty much it from there. Uh, for hand trips, running a bunch of two ofs actually. But I'm, in total, I'm running six hand trips. Uh, two Ash Blossoms. I've mentioned that this card is actually really good this format. And so far, it still seems to work just fine. Two copies of Ghost Ogre. Because again... Against Sword Soul, like, as soon as they activate one of their monster effects to summon a token, you just pop that monster, and they can't really do much with the token. And against the uh, Flunderese matchup, you just uh, aim for their field spell as soon as they activate it, or uh, activate its effects, and yeah, you can just pop it. And against the Tri Brigade matchup, usually the one thing that just worries that I worry about is Appaloosa, but if I can force out that negate, I can just chain an ogre, and it's gone. And just like that, that negate can't really resolve. And of course, to go along with my Ogres, I am running two copies of Valor. I was considering the uh, Gamma package, but so far I really like this lineup. But I might I might try the uh, Gamma package, or yeah, uh, yeah, the Gamma package and see which one I like better. But overall, I think I like this uh, lineup just fine. And that pretty much rounds up our monsters. All right, 
trying to clear my voice here. Uh, from Spells, three copies of Fossil Dig. You know, it's your Rota. Uh, triple Lost World. Uh, you can use it to chain block your Ovi Raptor, give your opponent a token. Plus, as long as there's a token out, your opponent can't target monsters uh, except tokens. So, it's actually pretty nuts against the uh, against certain matchups. Of course, you still have to worry about Tribrigate because Shurik doesn't really target. And, of course, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer is in the format. So, unfortunately, that does not target either. But, again, there are ways you can kind of play around it. So, like I said, don't panic. As long as you know how to deal with them, you should be fine. And, of course, the one Terraforming to go with it. Uh, two copies of Double Evolution Pill. And one of the cards that really makes this deck shine. Three copies of Pot of Prosperity. Of course, you can run Extravagance. I've proven that you can do that in the past. And yeah, you just have to build your extra deck around it. But overall, like, it's really up to you which one you like better, really. I'm running two Triple T's. You know, it's just like an additional form of draw power. Yeah, it does conflict with Pot of Prosperity. But sometimes that draw two doesn't always come up. Sometimes you can take opponent's monster since it doesn't target. Or you can just simply rip a card out of their hand and send it back to the deck. Uh, two cross out designators, since you know I am running certain hound chairs. Uh, the ones that I'm generally worried about are just Valor and Ash Blossom, so it's just another form of Called by the Grave. Which, speaking of which, one Called by the Grave. So yeah, and that's pretty much it for the main deck. All right, so my extra deck is gonna be pretty self-explanatory, starting with one copy of Scrap Wyvern. So this card reads that you can target one Scrap monster in your graveyard. Special summon it and then destroy one card you control. So uh, you basically just pop one of your scrap monsters or you can just have this one pop itself. But um, if another face-up scrap monster is destroyed by a card effect, which in case the monster you bring back while you control this monster, you can special summon one scrap monster from your deck and then destroy one card on the field. So, of course, uh, you're going to bring back your scrap golem. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to, you can just pop like one of your babies if it's still on the field. So, yeah, it's it, it it's pretty abusable once you know how to properly use this card. So, yeah. Uh, for some Link 1s, one Link Karibo. Uh I was thinking about cutting this at first, but then I realized, like, you know what? Almirage does come up quite a bit. So, especially if you brick with one of the babies, you can just normal summon it. You know, trigger Lost World and then do your combo from there. And then just link off into an Almirage. And not only that, it also gets your pill alive. So, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. Especially when you go into a Secure Gardener. So just like another target for that. Uh, one Pentastag, you know, to give Tyranno piercing damage. I'm running my uh, favorite package, Mascarena and Unicorn. Since, you know, it's just free disruption during the opponent's turn. And of course, uh, for my rank four of choice, I'm running Appaloosa. Since, you know, uh, this deck pretty much spans monsters pretty quickly. As long as you have, like I said, have the right cards in hand. And it's really not difficult to do whatsoever. Uh, I'm running a bunch of rank fours. One Dolka, one Lagia. I might pump uh, Dolka to two. I'm just trying to figure out what to cut next. But for sure, I'm still running one Dugaris. One Tornado Dragon to deal with Bagro, because, you know, I don't really like to deal with Bagro. I'm not too sure how good Abyss Dweller is right now. I know it's good against Tribrigade, but that's if, you know, you go first. And generally, this deck isn't really a going first deck. It's a going second deck. So, like I said, I'm kind of debating whether I should cut the, the Dweller, but I haven't decided on it yet. Now, because I am running Scrap Raptor as, like, one of my tuners... I do run a couple synchros, one Borlot Savage Dragon, which actually does come up a lot considering that, you know, uh, you run a bunch of level fours and it's super easy to make. And I'm also running one Nat Beast because Animadoran Archer Star is a level one monster, so you can just literally uh, go run Raptor and then into Animadoran and just make Nat Beast and just cancel out spells. So good way just to deal with the uh, Destiny F or Fusion Destiny. Of course, you still have to worry about Fairty Anaconda, but again, Nat Beast is just a good way to counter like some spell heavy deck so just bear that in mind and yeah all right so that's it for the extra deck uh moving on to the side deck uh side deck i decided to kind of like use cards that i felt like were the best ones to pick out so starting with three copies of drawn lockbird you know there are a lot of search heavy strategies right now like flanderies and sword soul at my locals it's mostly just tri brigade but we i am starting to see a rise in sword soul and and uh flanderies so i just want to be prepared tune to beer for like those rogue decks that you know that can't really play around it. Uh, three Cosmic Cyclone, and I've mentioned this before, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer is in the format now, and now that the whole combo with Artifact Scythe is a thing, I think Cosmic Cyclone is gonna be one of the better uh, backward removal. So yeah, and funny enough, this deck really does not rely too heavily on its extra deck anyway, but still, uh, for those who are kind of like scared of that combo, just yeah, try Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, Cause like with my Dino deck, I don't really wanna discard cards with uh, with Twin Twisters, I'd rather just go for like, just get a, just like go for a one for one thing, basically. 
I am running one Harpy's Feather Duster just in case, you know, if I'm up against a back row heavy strategy and just want to do give him a big blowout, I think it's definitely one of the cards to do it. Uh, three D Barrier just to call fusions because, you know, Dragoon is still out there. We, again, destroy Phoenix Enforcer. And I'm not running fusions at all, as y'all can clearly see. Now, this card is super nuts against the uh, Sword Soul matchup, Survival's End. So basically, you destroy any number of normal monsters, in which case the tokens. And you can special summon level four or lower dinosaur type monsters uh, from your deck up to the number of monsters that were destroyed. So yeah, Survival's End can be really good, especially when you're going first. So uh, definitely something to try out. And of course, one red reboot, again, to deal with back row heavy strategies. But overall, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And as always, uh, I'll be sure to come back next time.